Why Windows Vista faced so many challenges, falling short of customer expectations and ending in project failure. Discover the reasons for its failure and the valuable lessons we can glean from its journey. Welcome on Project Booster, your ultimate resource for optimizing project and team management. Check video description to see how we can boost your project success and team efficiency. Windows Vista was the successor to Windows XP and was developed by Microsoft. It was officially released to consumers in January 2007. The development process was lengthy, spanning more than five years and faced numerous delays. Windows Vista introduced higher system requirements compared to its predecessor, which led to compatibility issues with existing hardware. Many users found that their computers were not adequately equipped to run Vista smoothly. The aerographical user interface, while visually appealing, required significant graphics processing power, causing performance problems on older machines. One of the major issues with Windows Vista was the lack of compatible drivers for existing peripherals and hardware components. Many manufacturers were slow to release updated drivers, leading to functionality problems. Windows Vista was criticized for being resource intensive, leading to slower performance on machines that met the minimum requirements. This contributed to frustration among users who experienced sluggishness and instability. The user account control feature, introduced to enhance security by prompting users for permission before making system changes, became a point of contention. Users found the frequent prompts intrusive and annoying, leading to a negative user experience. Numerous software applications designed for earlier Windows versions had compatibility issues with Vista. This forced users and businesses to either upgrade their software or face functionality problems. Windows Vista received mixed reviews from both critics and users. While it introduced several security and visual enhancements, the performance issues and compatibility challenges overshadowed these improvements. The negative perception of Vista affected Microsoft's reputation, and many users opted to stick with Windows XP or later upgraded to Windows 7 when it was released. Due to the challenges faced by Windows Vista, Microsoft expedited the development of its successor, Windows 7, which was released in 2009. Windows 7 addressed many of the performance and compatibility issues associated with Vista, receiving a more positive reception from users and the industry. Windows Vista faced a combination of hardware and software compatibility issues, performance challenges, and a mixed market reception. Let's see what lessons we can learn from that story. User-centered design is crucial. User-centered design involves putting yourself in the user's shoes, understanding their needs, preferences, and pain points is crucial to creating a product that truly resonates with them. Design should be an iterative process. Continuously gather user feedback, conduct usability testing, and refine the design based on real-world user experiences. Compatibility matters. Ensuring compatibility is not just about the technical aspects, it's about creating a user-friendly transition. Users should feel at ease when adopting new software without the stress of dealing with hardware or software incompatibility issues. If changes are significant, consider implementing backward compatibility strategies to support users with existing setups, reducing the friction of migration. 
realistic project timelines are essential. Striking the right balance between delivering promptly and maintaining high quality standards is crucial. Rushed projects can lead to oversights, impacting the overall success and user satisfaction. Establish clear milestones and checkpoints to assess progress regularly. This helps in identifying and addressing issues early, preventing last-minute rushes. Effective communication is key. Communicate transparently about the development roadmap, upcoming changes, and the reasoning behind them. This transparency builds trust and helps users understand the evolution of the product. Ensure that communication channels are open and responsive. Timely responses to user queries or concerns contribute to a positive perception and user satisfaction. Learn from mistakes. Cultivate a culture of continuous improvement. Instead of viewing mistakes as failures, see them as opportunities to learn and enhance future projects. Conduct thorough post-implementation reviews to assess what worked well and what didn't. Documenting these insights helps in avoiding similar pitfalls in future endeavors. Build trust and manage expectations. Managing expectations involves setting realistic goals and deadlines. Clearly communicate what users can expect, both in terms of features and timelines, to avoid disappointment. If challenges arise during development, be transparent about them. Honest communication about setbacks, along with proactive solutions, fosters trust and understanding among users and stakeholders. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more project management tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.